Greetings discreet defenders. Today we're going to film a 22 caliber shoot featuring some Browning segmented hollow point 37 grain ammunition. And the list velocity is pretty hot, about 1400 feet per second. We're going to be testing them out of the Ruger LCP2 chambered for 22 LR. And the first test is going to be the chronograph. Now, once again, we're putting safety first over visibility, but hopefully we can read the, the face of the chronograph as we're shooting against a berm behind it. And I'm going to shoot from about four feet away. Nine forty four. Nine twenty seven. Nine twenty nine. Nine forty nine. Nine fifty eight. Eight thirty nine. Not sure. That's reliable because I didn't feel the difference. Nine thirty four. Nine forty eight. 7.48, all right, we did not get the slide to lock open on that last round, but other than that, pretty much flawless. And again, I did not feel a difference with those lower velocity readings. And so I'm kind of going to blame the lighting and probably the pro chrono. We'll get a quick 10 shot average here of 916 feet per second, but I think I think this round is a little bit more consistent than that. I will throw out those two low readings and uh, and give you an overall average when uh, when I get back to my uh, to my home computer. So that'll have to be close enough for the Procrony test. Those look pretty decent. Next up is going to be the ballistic gel penetration test. For this round of the testing, we've applied four layers of cotton t-shirt and we have the usual 13 plus inch, almost 14 inch ballistic gel column. And we'll see how many, see how many rounds we have space for in the block. Try for at least three. Mm. Well, that's escaped out the top, and unfortunately, we've lost our t shirt barrier. Set that up again. A little bit further down this time. Surprised I didn't poke some holes in that water jug backer. All right, I'm just going to center this one up. Where'd that go? Okay. All right. Let's try to get underneath it a little bit. Yeah, that one's definitely underneath it. Now we'll go to the back of the block. Yeah, it looks like that one's captured as well. Those are pretty, yeah, I can see <laughs> the fragments. I can see some of the fragments right away. They break off generally pretty early in the track. All right, I'm going to empty the remaining rounds just to make sure that we have Good reliable ammunition here. I'm gonna shoot that dead tree back there. 
Okay, so we've got all 20 without a hitch. We even had the slide lock open on that last round. So far, the Brownings are performing pretty well. Let's measure up. Let's measure up the penetration on these. Okay, we have one projectile that has come to rest just, just short of 11 inches toward the front right there. The other two are kind of behind it, difficult to see from your angle. All right, I'm gonna cut down this block so you can see those. There, that's better. Oops, didn't need that really. All right, so we have another one. This looks to be the shortest penetrator. And that has come in at just, just over the 10 inch mark. Actually, I would say right at 10 and a half. And the, uh, the third one, no, that's, that's the first one we measured. Actually, the second one, the one toward the center, the first one I fired, appears to be the deepest. That one looks like it's gone a sh just a hair short of 11 inches into the block. So again, we have, yeah, you can see these little, the little, the little fragments, the, the fragmenting hollow points actually do, they do break off. I'll probably want to take those home, melt them down. I'll just give you a little, a little look at what they look like after they've fragmented. They, they almost have just a tiny bit of expansion to them. Just a just a shade, that's probably oh, an extra hundredth of an inch or two, <laughs> which probably explains why they, uh, they underpenetrate. But they all came in well over 10 inches. So yeah, do with it what you will. Um, I kind of consider this ammunition to be a stand-in for Winchester silver tip, 37 grain segmenting hollow point because it's presumably a related round. I just wasn't able to get a hold of any silver tips in a timely fashion. They seem to sell out everywhere just as I checked. But there you go. There is your browning, fragmenting bullet. And uh, pretty decent performance overall. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.